becoming the best at anything is never easy, you know, but it's so worth it. You're listening to the Traffic and Funnel Show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Traffic and Funnel Show. My name is Bryant, and I'm actually filling in for Chris and Taylor today. Um, and I'm, I'm a little sick. I've got this sinus thing going on, but that's okay, because my voice actually sounds better when it's lower. Um, but uh, yeah, today we've been talking a lot on the podcast. Uh, last week, we had our Black Friday promo, which is our biggest promo of the year. And I got to do a bunch of behind-the-scenes content with our team talking to different people in different roles, um, sales, marketing, content. Um, And I had so much fun doing it that I wanted to continue doing that today. So today I have Peyton Welch with me, who is our head advisor here at Traffic and Funnels. Peyton, how are you? What's up, man? I'm good. How how are you? Man, sounds like I'm I'm better than you are. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Every, everyone, everyone, he keeps apologizing for his voice, but it actually sounds amazing. It actually, yeah, I think it's, I think I need to keep it this way. I'll just yeah. stay sick. Deep but. and raspy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Peyton um, is our head uh, advisor here and has been um, a long time member of the sales team, um, has done so much to grow Traffic and Funnels as a business, as a company, um, and is really the master of sales here. And he has generated um, over a million dollars for the company. He has done so much to just just build traffic funnels to bring it to where it is today. And so what I want to talk about is just all things sales, um, the mindset that goes into you guys showing up every day, um, how you show up on the phone, how you're actually helping people. Um, at times, we were even talking about this before. It's like sometimes people are even intimidated to like maybe get on the phone or have a conversation. And yeah. it's like, we're actually here to help people. And that's, that's all we do here at Traffic and Funnels. So, um, yeah, let's just dive in and talk about kind of how you got started, how, how the, you know, your mindset has shifted from when you started to where you are now. And we'll just kind of start there and see where it goes. And that's a can of worms. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a <laughs> long be a six episode. Hour episode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You just want me to start from the beginning. Like yeah, let's when, do I, it. when I came on with Taylor and Chris, totally. And so I am the, the oldest team member, not as in like age, but as yeah. in like, I'm the longest, uh, longest member of the traffic and funnels crew, yeah. uh, in this company right now. And it's awesome. Um, I remember actually, it's so funny because when I tell this story, people are like dumbfounded. They're like, no way. Um, so I'm since being Taylor's brother, Taylor actually didn't want me to work for the company hmm. because as a business owner, it's like you hire people. Sometimes people don't work out. And so he was like, he's like, man, if, if I hire my brother and it doesn't work out, like holidays are never going to be the same because I got to fire <laughs> yeah. him. And it's like yeah. Thanksgiving's awkward now. And right. so he actually, I wanted to be on the team really badly because I saw what he and Chris were doing and it was just amazing and how yeah. quickly they were growing and just the, the case studies, the testimonials of people they were helping. And I was like, man, I want to be a part of this. And he was like, I just, you know, I'll, I'll, we know some great people in the space. I'll refer you out. And uh, at the time he actually had a sales manager. And so what I did is I went around his back and I went to the sales manager at the time and I was like, you should hire me. I was like, (laughs) just Taylor will find out, but you should hire me. I was like, I'll be your top performer in six months. And then, uh, he brought me on and actually six months later, I was actually leading the the entire team. Wow. It's insane. It's been a fun ride since man. So man, I totally get that. Cause like, yeah, if it doesn't work out, there's a lot of stake, right? It's close to home. Like Taylor doesn't want to have to yeah, show up to holidays and like you're the guy that he let go. And, but I think that's also, that's what, cause if you read like Chet Holmes has a really great book, uh, it's called like the ultimate sales machine. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. And in the book, he's talking about when he decides to hire salespeople, he'll first like deny them, hmm. he'll reject them, hmm. say like go through the entire interview and he'll be like, you know what? I think you're great. I just don't think that you're a superstar. I don't think you have the superstar talent. Wow. And if they were, if they would like fight back and they'd be like, are you deaf? Like, did you just hear me? (laughs) Then he knew he had a killer. He had a superstar. And the ones that were like, Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's not, that's not a very good. I mean, that's just not a very good salesperson right there. Totally. You know, they just break under pressure easily. Yeah. And so, uh, I think that's something, something that you want is like someone that's actually going to fight for the position and the things that they say they want. Yeah. So totally. Did you you have flexing on myself, but no big deal. Right. (laughs) Did you have a background in sales or like doing any of that before you came on? Or was it just like a belief that you had that you could do it? I did, but it was bad. It was like incorrect. So when I came onto traffic and funnels, I had about a year's worth of sales experience, but it was all wrong. It was sales done wrong. Hmm. Like, the epitome of incorrect like yeah. sales yeah. because and this sounds, this sounds so cheesy. So for everyone that's listening, 
it sounds cheesy. It sounds corny. You'll probably roll your eyes at it. But in all truth, the, the key to sales is just loving people. Hmm. It's like, that's the easiest way to put it. Hmm. And it sounds so corny because everyone's looking for like a sexy new tactic. And like, how do you handle this objection? It's like, dude, if you genuinely love people, like you're going to be good at sales. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't. And when I, the sales experience I had, I was working at a real estate investment company and the culture was a little weird and it was more of like a, just sell, just sell shit, just sell to sell to sell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to like go home and sleep at night if you have a conscience and you know, you're selling things that like, it's probably not what that person needed or like I, they were just a a dollar sign to me. They weren't an actual human being. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I helped someone. I feel like I just took advantage to get what I wanted. It just wasn't what I wanted. And, um, so when I came onto traffic funnels, it was like, Taylor had to like rewire everything that I thought I knew about sales. Like I had to unlearn everything because it was all incorrect foundation. Mm, You know, if you're going to tear apart a a building that has a poor foundation to build a new one, like that's necessary sometimes. And that was definitely me. So I had experience, um, but it was all wrong. So I had to relearn everything. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy because the common theme, like, uh, you know, going around talking to the team members over the last couple of weeks is like we legitimately care so much about the people like, and and it's, it's more than just saying that it's like our, our wins channel in Slack, you know, we have people coming in all the time sharing what, how their life has totally changed since they've, you know, come into the family or joined client kit or whatever it is. Um, and, and that's the result. Like that's, that's where we have the, the tangible results of like, these people are actually having their lives changed. And I think that's the difference is like, if you're not out for yourself, like there's this perception that sales is so much about like the salesperson, like he's yeah. trying to make money. He's trying to like do his thing. So he's hyping a bunch of products and, but that's, that's totally the opposite. So you mm-hmm. had to go through that rewiring. Um, what's, what's that been like now, like kind of on the other side, um, of doing this for a while, how has that changed your life? Like your, your mindset? I mean, everything about my life is better mm-hmm. because of traffic and funnels. Mm-hmm. 100%. Cause you can't, you, you, I don't know if the word grow up is the right word. Um, you kind in of terms evolve. Of, yeah, I something. guess. Yeah. Evolve like, yeah. Or in terms of like your career, you grow up in these environments that don't have the same, uh, philosophies and morals and caring about people. And, um, it's like, what are the odds that that leaks into your personal life and you know, all that stuff. And then you come in here and you're just completely rewired top to bottom hmm. to, uh, actually focus on what helps people. And, um, there's a ripple effect in that. Yeah. And so yeah, professionally and career, like my life's amazing and it also leaks into my personal life for sure. So looking back, yeah, man, I mean, it wasn't easy, you know, getting, becoming the best at anything is never easy, Mm -hmm. you know, but it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's definitely so worth it. So dude, sales, traffic and funnels, like it's changed my life for sure. Yeah. It sells, sells the right way. Yeah, totally. What are, what are some of the things like, you're showing up here every day, like talking to people, helping people through their problems, um, helping find solutions for people. Well, how, how do you go about like showing up every day? Like what are some of the things that you do to keep like routines or is it like mindset stuff or inputs or like, how do you have that, you know, that mindset to like come in every day and just help people? Yeah. Well, it's kind of all the above. We have, uh, we call it like the three pillars. Everything, everything works in threes. We've got like the three rules of sales, which we can go through some other time. And it's amazing. We've also got like the three pillars uh, of sales that keep you like grounded and motivated. And I won't go through the other two, but the first one is just energy Hmm. um, or biology. I think biology is a better word for it. Yeah. Biology. And there's a, uh, we had a, a client that really put this into fantastic uh, terms for us because you know, there's so many different things like, you know, goals and vision and thinking about all these different things to keep you motivated. But this client, he was, uh, he was helping people in terms of their, their biology and helping them lose weight and become healthy. And he had a saying that whenever biology and vision butts heads, biology always wins. Hmm. And so, um, I would say that biology is huge. You know, you got to take care of yourself. Jim Rohn talks about it too. Jim Rohn talks about like in any high performance person, is going to talk about your biology, mm-hmm. you know, eating right. Uh, so that's nutrition, exercise, um, routines, strong routines in the morning that keep you grounded and keep you in your, your, your best self morning formula. Mm-hmm. Anyone who's a client 
knows what a morning formula is yeah. and it's like a religion, like you do it every freaking morning. Yeah, totally. You know? Yeah. So different things like that. Yeah, man. Because in the end, for, especially in the world of sales, energy equals money. Hmm. Energy equals money. Hmm. Cause I tell you what, like whenever you're sick and you've got the flu, like you're not like, I don't care how motivated you are to reach a goal. It's like, if you've got, if I've got the flu, like I'm not calling anyone. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. bed. Right. It's like a physical limitation. Yeah. Like you, you, your body's telling you that you cannot do anymore. And, yeah, and we've up. seen Anthony's amazing at this. Anthony is incredible at energy, but even in the past, we've had some salespeople where it's so funny to see that, like how important energy in your biology is because we've had people in the past that would join the team and they were horrible at sales, but their energy was phenomenal. Hmm. I mean, it was incredible. Hmm. And it was like, a, it was, people were just drawn to it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you could see this person that was making sales. If you listen to the call, you're like, this guy sucks. SS. <laughs> yeah. You know, but his energy but magnetic. Man, it was, it was it was infectious. Like, yeah. Yeah. And huh. uh, people trusted him. And, um, and so it's like, yeah, it's, there's foundational pieces. It's like, yeah, you can have tactics, but in the end, if your energy sucks and it's like, you're going to ruin more deals than if it were flip flopped. Hmm. So energy is huge. Wow. So that's number one. There are three of these three pillars. Yeah. Do you want me to spill the beans? I don't know. Is it, is it okay? <laughs> yeah. Derek can, says yes. We can spill it's the okay. beans. We'll save some other goodies for another time. Yeah. I mean, energy, you know, I mean, we can, we can even dive into that a little deeper for a second because I think that's something that I notice. like even attending sales meetings or just being around the energy is always high and Taylor's huge on this, obviously like instilling this idea of energy, um, that kind of precedes everything else. Like even when you don't feel it, like find mm. a way to dig in and like manufacture, even if it, if you have to like fake it till you make it sort of thing, like, like, well, it can be manufactured. Yeah. Like practice. Yeah. Makes perfect. Like yeah. action is what actually develops that. So if you're anyone who's watching this, like if you're in sales mentor, then you've seen, because I think Taylor's released a snippet. Is that right? He's released a snippet of a sales meeting in sales mentor, I think. I'm pretty sure he yeah. has. Yeah. Anyways, if you see one of our sales meetings, it's amazing because what it does every morning, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, <laughs> someone yells, let's start with wins. Let's start with wins. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone, it's like, it's a madhouse. Yeah. I mean, people are just going crazy. They're like, because we've got so many clients now and yeah. so many people are posting in the group and just reporting back of like, oh my God, like my business was in shambles and I've just had a record month. Like I've only been with you guys for like 30 days and you just tweak these different things. And now I feel like I have more clarity. And yeah. so people are just posting their wins and reporting and it's like, it's the best drug in the world. Yeah. I mean, that's like crack. To yes. Us. Totally. So as soon as, as soon as like that, that gunshot goes off in the morning, 8 30 AM, yeah. everyone's like fighting over each other to like, bam, like, Hey, this person I talked to, this client, they were boom, 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 boom. Now yeah. they're experiencing boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it's just like, if your energy was low before that meeting, like you're not, uh, you're not leaving the same. Totally. It raises everyone up. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So when you show up like on a call and you take that energy from the sales meeting and then you take that into your day, like how does that affect the way you show up and, and talk to people like when you're hopping on and helping people? Um, well, it serves people better. Yeah. No one wants to talk to a person like this. Right. <laughs> you had a bad, it's like no one wants to get on a consultation with Eeyore. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, they want, okay. dude, like they want someone who's like, I'm excited. I'm excited to solve your problems. I care about yeah. you as a human. Yeah. What we've got here is the best in the world. And if it's for you, then awesome. I'll tell you all about it. If not, that's fine. I'm, s I'm still going to fix all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. And maybe even I need to connect you with someone else. That'd be a better match. Mm -hmm. uh, but either way, we're going to have fun because you've got problems and historically I can fix them. So let's talk. Yeah. Like that's who people want to talk with. Yeah. Not someone that's like, dude, just so downtrod. Yeah. And like they, they slept bad. So they're totally. going to take it out on someone that's coming onto a consultation. Didn't do anything wrong, but you're taking it out on them unknowingly. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you kind of project that like onto them. So they feel that. And that's like oh, yeah. a weird, weird thing that happens. Uh, yeah. The call. Huh. It's crazy. So uh, biology is one energy. Um, what's, what's, uh, kind of the next, pillar? we'll go through the next two. Number yeah. one is biology. Number two is regulation. Mm. Number three is vision. Nice. Hopefully Taylor doesn't hate me for giving away his IP, but whatever. <laughs> so biology, regulation, vision, regulation is more. So, um, the things that, 
you do. It's like training. It's like the things that keep you um, grounded mm. and like reviewing, reviewing game footage and practicing and role playing and the different things that just keep you good at your craft. Mm -hmm. So in terms of a, just an easy way to think about it, like for an NBA player, regulation would be like stretching, practicing, exercise, cardio, reviewing game tape, mm -hmm. um, talking over game plans with the coach or with the team. It's like all the things that are about like, uh, practicing performance. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The third thing would be your vision and vision is, extremely important um, because what causes burnout is not that people just work too much. What causes burnout is that the output in terms of how much they are working is not equivalent with the vision that they have anymore. Or mm. maybe um, because like no one wants to just work themselves to death for nothing. Right. But if you're working towards something amazing and it lights you up and it inspires you, you know, that person will take all the beatings in the world, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which I don't know if anyone's listening to this and you happen to own a business, or you happen to be an entrepreneur, you've probably taken a beating or two. If not, yeah. talk to us because I'm fascinated about what you do and how you've avoided that. <laughs> yeah. And um, if you have any success at all. <laughs> yeah. Like that would be incredible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, vision, vision is kind of like the anchor. Hmm in terms of like, dude, I can get knocked down as many times as I want or as, as many times as it takes and I'm getting back up and mm -hmm. I'm still putting in the work and vision like biology and vision are so closely tied together because vision can impact your biology. And, uh, cause like I get energized when I look at my goals yeah. and when I look at all the people that we're helping and, yeah. um, just how many more people I want to help this year. And yeah, dude, it lights me up. Like it, it, it helps increase my biology for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and all of these kind of feed off one another, but I usually like to say vision for last because everyone's always talking about like a vision board and morning filming and stuff. And yeah. it's like, but it's seriously, it really is like, it can't be overlooked. Totally. At all. Totally. Yeah. So like if there's misalignment, it sounds like what you're saying is if there's misalignment in your, vision and like the things that you're doing every day that's how burnout happens yeah like 100%. When, you, when you kind of get out of balance in those ways um what are what are some ways that you keep that in balance like do you constantly update your vision like you constantly Absolutely. increasing and just yeah talk about Absolutely. That a so bit. we've got like you know we've got morning formulas and uh, on the morning formula it's got like the this is like the perfect version of peyton hmm. like the man that i want to be every single day yeah you know, in the future and what his life is like and what kind of cars he drives and his house and, um, how many people he helps, what his income is like, uh, what his life is like, just, it's all of it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, there are times when it's like, as you grow as a person, hopefully you're hitting some of those things, you know, progress is a really big piece of energy too. Cause it's someone who feels like they're working and they're not making progress. Well, they're going to quit. They yeah. give up. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, I think Taylor told a story on a podcast a long time ago about like how he had a, he had his, uh, a Tesla model S on his morning formula forever. Mm -hmm. And then when he got it and he didn't update it, he just found himself almost like tired mm -hmm. and just kind of like, well, you know, what's next? Yeah. This yeah. is why people, I was listening to this. Um, who was it? It was Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was talking about when astronauts would come back from the moon, they would like fall into this depression. Wow. Because it's like, well, you've gone to the moon. What's next? There's nothing like it's yeah. all downhill from here. Totally. <laughs> they fall into this like depression and alcoholism and like mm -hmm. drugs. And it's like, they were like, how these guys have had the most amazing experience of anyone. Yeah. Like, how are you going to compete with going to the moon? Right. Right. You can't, <laughs> they would come back and it was like, well, they've, their vision was now out the window because they've achieved it. Yeah. And so they actually had to, uh, NASA had to actually create these different programs for, um, giving astronauts things to work on and like tasks and things to accomplish and work towards mm. when they came back to avoid that. And wow. human beings work the same way, especially in business. So it's like, yeah, if you check something off your list, it's like, man, you got to be constantly updating that. So it's like progress and striving towards something great. Yeah. Um, is always, is always something you have in totally. your arsenal. Totally, man. So how, how is the vision translated from each person individually to the team? Cause like now we have, you have six or seven salespeople out there right now. Mm -hmm. um, how, how is that taken from like each person individually and brought together to have like 
a sales team? Because it seems like a lot of people are either doing sales themselves as like a solo business owner, or they have like one person, but to actually cultivate and grow a team of salespeople that are all kind of shooting for one goal. How does that, how does that kind of play out? Well, so in terms of vision, everyone, I mean, everyone has their own individual vision because my vision looks different than Anthony's. Yeah. And his is perfect for him and specific and it's not for me and mm-hmm. I have my own, mm-hmm. you know, but as a team, when you have everyone that is working in common towards their specific vision, that all feeds into the company's vision, which is like help as many people as possible. Yeah. Take scale as many businesses to the moon as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, then that's when you have like a really powerful team, but everyone on the team has to honor this, all of this stuff right here. Yeah. You know, because if Anthony's not looking at his vision every single day and he's not excited, well, Anthony, I mean, he's kind of like a thermostat, mm. you know, mm-hmm. so he's going to infect other people. And so it's like, we all kind of hold each other accountable and we can pick up on stuff like that pretty easily. But I mean, that's what we develop is it's just like excellence. And it's like, you're not going to read your morning formula. So you're going to, you, you got lazy. So you're going to take that out on people that are needing help. Wow. And so that's how we at least cultivate that here at our company Mm -hmm. to someone that is, you know, maybe you don't have any salespeople. And I think there's some people out there that like there, you can, you can scale really high in terms of revenue without even having to have salespeople. Yeah. You know, Taylor, Taylor and Chris did it. Taylor was the sale, the salesperson and they were doing well over a hundred K a month before they even thought about, potentially bring it on a salesperson. Yeah. Um, and I think it's like, if you can honor these things and you can stay at your best, then, you know, you could, you could probably scale really high and enjoy the game of sales at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. totally. We were, um, we were kind of talking just to change gears a little bit, like the three pillars, those, like, those are awesome personally and in the team, but we were talking a little bit before this about empathy and like how that kind of comes into, um, the role of a salesperson, like being kind of showing up with empathy, like showing up to actually help people. It's everything. Um, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about that a little bit. Like what, how does empathy, what role does that have in sales or sales? So empathy is the, the secret hack. Empathy is the key. Again, if we want to zoom way out, it's just like, it's just loves the answer, mm. you know? Yeah. And again, every time I say that, even I feel like it's cheesy, but yeah. it's so true. <laughs> and like um, it should come up on the screen, right? Yeah. Here. Love is the answer. Yeah. Like it's yeah. tattooed somewhere yeah. <laughs> with a rainbow, but like, it's true. <laughs> empathy is the key because people will get empathy and sympathy mixed up. And sympathy is the uh, process of allowing someone to be victimized or even like uh, accepting, like I validate your reasons for being stuck as mm-hmm. a business owner, mm-hmm. which is incorrect. Mm-hmm. Empathy is... I see you and I understand you care about you. I want you to win. I'm going to show you how to do better. Mm -hmm. Like if you think about a doctor, a doctor is very empathetic. They are way more empathetic than they are sympathetic. Yeah. Empathy is the ability to understand. That's why a doctor goes in and diagnoses Mm -hmm. before they prescribe you anything. You've never gone to a doctor's office and you sit down and they're like, here's some penicillin. Yeah. (laughs) Enjoy. Like, cool. I'm one, I'm allergic. Just yeah. <laughs> side note, I would get hives. It's horrible. But two, it's like, you didn't, you don't even know. You don't know me. Yeah. You don't know what my problems are. You don't know any, you don't have any data yeah. to be able to accurately describe and, or, or prescribe anything to me. Mm-hmm. And empathy is the ability for me to understand exactly what you, Brian, are going through, what your challenges are, what's causing them, what you want things to be like instead. Mm-hmm. Understanding that things are hard and uh, that they don't have to be anymore if you have the right game plan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So salespeople will lose empathy whenever they care more about the sale than they do about the person because they will skip over diagnosis and they'll just try to push a sale. Yeah. And that's what people hate. Yeah. The world of sales has changed and it's evolved and people don't like to be sold. They people like to buy. Mm-hmm. They don't like to be sold at all. Right. 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 And it's because there's just been this wave of you know, sales people and you know, high high ticket closing, right. you know, <laughs> certification that I've taken and it's like they only care about the sale, they don't care about helping people. Right. And people are just tired of it. Yeah. You yeah. know. So if you can, if you can truly get to a place where it's like, every time I get on the phone, I'm like, again, it sounds so corny. So I'm just going to preface it. It's like (laughs) genuinely, I love this person. 
I want them to win. Like no matter how this comfort, whether they buy or not, it's like their life's going to be way better after talking with me. Yeah. It's like your chances of helping that person, improving their life and actually potentially landing a sale, right? If it's what's best for them mm -hmm. so much higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that factor. Cause it's like, if it's what's best for them, like everybody wins, if it's what's best for them, then it's what's best for you as well. You Dude, know, like you can't, I, I can't even count how many times I've had thousands of conversations like yeah. thousands of consultations with traffic and funnels dude i think at this point i'm close to i'm not at i would say i'm probably close to around seven to eight million dollars in revenue generated for this company wow. just wow all time so far i think i'll have to look back on that yeah but either way i've had thousands of consultations with people and you can i like i can't count how many times i've spoken with someone and what they need is not our cup of tea. Hmm. It's just not. Sometimes I talk with someone and they've got problems and it's like, I really wish we could help you. Yeah. Uh, but we can't. Yeah. And I think you need something else. Here's some advice I can give to you, but I don't have anything to sell you. I don't have anything to offer you. I think you should check out this person. Hmm. And how many times like that person's been blown away and they're like, wow. Like, thank you so much for being honest. And they will send me referrals yeah. because of it. Wow. And it's not, it's not, that's not the tactic. It's just that dude, when you take care of people, yeah, people are drawn to it. Yep. We've got some lifelong fans for traffic and funnels that are probably never going to actually buy client kit or buy a lead or, you know, never going to be a consulting client. Yeah. Uh, but they're like hardcore raving fans and they send us people all the time. It's like, Hey, I had this conversation with this guy named Peyton. Yeah. You have to talk with him. Totally. So whether you need him or not, like he's going to help you for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to have your best interest in mind. Dude, like that happens trust. all the time. Yeah. All the time, man. It's crazy. Cause even if we rewind like almost actually almost two years to the day, honestly, is when I chatted with you yeah. about becoming a client. You and I had a consultation. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So like, I remember, I, rem I remember almost every single like consultation that I've had with people that have become a client. Yeah. And I remember yeah. yours to this day. Yeah. Cause I was like, Hey, you should, I was like, you should not do anything right now. Like you should go chat with Brooke. Totally. Talk to your wife, like think it over. We'll chat tomorrow. I mean, I was probably, I kind of knew you before that, like you knew a our little stuff bit and, you and knew I me, knew yeah. kind of what was going on. Um, and I knew that when I called, I was like, I've got like, I want what you got. I want, I need help. Like I need you guys to help me. I'm in. Um, but yeah, even that, like, you're like, no, like don't make a quick decision. Like, you know, yeah, I wasn't about like, it. What, talk about it. What kind of man do you want your wife to see you as? You should yeah. buy this right now. <laughs> like, yeah. no. Yeah, totally. I was like, dude, go talk to your wife. <laughs> yeah. Figure it out. Let's chat tomorrow. Yeah. Like, and we caught up and I was like, yeah, I talked to her. She's all in. Like, let's go. Um, but I do remember that that level of trust was like, I felt like you, like, you, I, I felt like you guys could legit help me. And I knew you yeah. could. And based on like the other training and stuff. Um, so the fact that you kind of push back a little bit, it's kind of what you said at the very beginning about even bringing salespeople in like that little kind of push out to be like, you know what, if they really want it and it's really what's best for them, they're going to like rise up and come get it. Um, and you could probably feel like I didn't, that I didn't give a shit about your money. Yeah. Like right. I'm, a, I'm able to like put that in the, I can place that in the back seat and I can focus on like, what's more important is like, what is, what is Bryant needing? Yeah. Yeah, totally. And if it's us and he's going to be able to make a decision without like his wife, like putting him on the couch yeah, <laughs> because he made a decision without looping her in. Yeah. Then awesome. Like we can bring that back to the front and see like, okay, like how do we work this out? Like, yeah. you know, making that exchange. Cause that's eventually what a sale becomes. Yeah. But first p people skip and they go straight to like trying to close the deal. Right. That's what screws things up. Right. Dude. So good. I'm going to, I'm just going to look through some of these, uh, comments, see if we have any like Q and a here. Let's do it. Um, Somebody said this is deep. Amir said this is deep. <laughs> it is kind of deep. Um, I don't see any Q&A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in. Um, first time viewer of the show. We'll ask after the show ends. Cool, yeah. If you guys have uh, any questions, go ahead and drop them on. But, dude, this has been super helpful. I feel like just getting behind some of the, the mindset, the things that go into, you know, making our team world class, like mm -hmm. literally... I'm just blown away every day to see you guys showing up to help people and to serve. And like, it's, it's awesome to be part of. So it's the best drug. It's yeah. the best drug in the world, man, dude. Totally. And you know, there's a couple people like we've even, if you go to our tank page, 
trafficandfunnels.com slash tank. Yeah. You'll see all these videos and testimonials and case studies. And I've gotten, if you scroll down far enough, you'll see some interviews that I've done with people where it's like before they were like, dude, I don't know how I'm going to make it. Yeah. Um, and then we were able to just fix all of their stuff and get them clarity that they like could not find elsewhere. And then they were like, I'm never going to have to worry about money again. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I know how to press a button and I get clients when I want. Yep. Which means I can literally like summon money. Yeah. And it's the most rewarding thing in the world. Yeah. You know, especially because again, if you do sales right, you go through this process with someone where it's like things get like, it's pretty intimate. Like you're like someone is opening up to you about like all the things that they're embarrassed about mm-hmm. in their business. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. you kind of build that connection and then you're able to get them into something that can solve their problem. And then they come out on the other side. Yeah. Dude, you know, every time we have a, 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 a gathering or an event and people are in Nashville, it's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it, it is, is the best. It is the best hanging out with clients that have like made such a huge jump from where they were to where they are now. And they're hiring people and like they're p- providing jobs now and, and hiring employees, like jobs that would not have been created if I didn't do yeah, my job. Totally. And, uh, and it's, it's awesome. And I take pride in that. I take pride in knowing that, you know, there are people out there whose lives are going to be so much better after they finally have a conversation with me. Totally. You know, love it. It's exciting. How do you not, how do you not jump out of bed right in the morning? Right. It's taking responsibility. Like it's such a huge responsibility. And 100%. if you don't own it's an it, honor. like who will? It's an you honor. Know? And it's the same for same thing for any other, any other business owner out there. It's like, dude, okay. If you really help people, if you provide a service, you're really good at what you do. Uh, then the best thing for you is to be able to get on sales calls mm-hmm. and do your job. Mm-hmm. Like anyone who needs your help, take care of them. Sell. Yeah. Taboo words. Sell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and it's so rewarding. Yeah, totally. Dude, I love it. I don't see any Q&A coming in, so we could probably just wrap. I'm sure people will watch the replay. Um, Your hair looks great. This video, you think man. so? Dude, yeah. thanks, man. This is a good little setup. Awesome, dude. Well, thanks so much for uh, for coming on and, and chatting. I'm sure we'll do it again. We could talk all day probably about sales and serving people and stuff, so I love it. Um, anything else before we wrap? Good? Feeling good? Man, yeah, there's just so much more that we could dive into and we just don't have the time right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I think if, you, if you've if you been lurking in the shadows in, in the traffic <laughs> and funnels group yeah. um, and you need something, man, reach out. Yeah. You know, hop on a call with us. Yeah. If there's something we can help you do and we can help you fix, then get it fixed, yep. you know? Yep. Um, there's nothing worse than a business that has the potential to change thousands and thousands and thousands of lives and... Um, it's just sitting so far below its potential yeah. because you don't know the right steps to take or you don't have the right clarity to be able to move different pieces around to grow to that point. And so, you know, if we can help you come get, come get the help. Yeah. Uh, if you're not sure, talk with us anyways, because we have been in the business a long time. We know amazing people in the mm-hmm. space. And if you need someone else, then let us connect you with the right doctor, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. let us connect you with the right solution. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, let's do this again. I mean, there's so much, Love it. It, Taylor's an amazing, amazing sales trainer and uh, just overall leader of people in general. And so there's so much that's been downloaded into you, 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 and yeah. you, everyone out there. So dude, man, we got a lot, we got a lot to share. We'll just need more time. Totally. I love it, man. Thanks again for chatting. Thanks for listening. For more from Chris and Taylor, visit trafficandfunnels.com and get a free gift just for being a subscriber. That's trafficandfunnels.com. Hey, what if you could be in the boardroom where we sit down and we plan out how we're going to grow our eight-figure company month in and month out? If you've ever wondered how traffic and funnels grew so quickly, there are strategies, there are formulas that you can model in your business that our clients are modeling to scale to the moon and back. This is an amazing program. It's called Insiders Access Monthly. And we've put together a couple words on a page that you can actually go and check out this offer, trafficandfunnels.com slash IAM. You will not be sorry, I promise you. Let me know what you think.